Despite the name, members of the Satanic Temple of West Michigan don't worship Satan or even believe in him. They're atheists. They do believe in freedom of religion and freedom of speech and saw an opportunity in Ottawa County's designation as a constitutional county. I move to approve a resolution affirming Ottawa County's commitment to protecting constitutional freedoms. In May last year, commissioners declared Ottawa County a constitutional county. And I don't think they had anticipated the way that the other parts of the Constitution, like freedom of speech and freedom of religion, uh, would come to bear on the way they're uh, doing their governance of Ottawa County right now. Reverend Dr. Jared I, Kramer was paying attention. He's with St. John's Episcopal Church in Grand Haven. Kramer says he asked to give the invocation at the Board of Commissioners meeting several times last year, but no one ever responded. I'm not a fan of invocations at government meetings at all. Um, I think it's too messy, too, um, it, it, it's too easy to blur the line um, uh, from where faith should exist and where government should exist. However, if invocations are going to happen at government meetings, I'm a big believer that they need to represent all of the faiths of the constituents and people who live in an area. So he filed a religious discrimination lawsuit in October. A statement from the group Ottawa Impact denies Reverend Kramer's claims and points out he previously gave the invocation at a board meeting in 2022. Father Kramer could come forward. Still, commissioners decided to give Kramer the opportunity to speak again in February. God of our many understandings. They also created a new policy where anyone can sign up on a first-come, first-served basis as long as they follow basic guidelines. So the, the goal is just to be able to celebrate religious plurality. Bender Bones, which is a pseudonym to protect this man's identity, took advantage of the new policy in March. He signed up to have a representative from the Satanic Temple of West Michigan give the invocation. We're really just hoping to accomplish uh, being seen, being heard, and being something that people who are pluralistic or even non-religious can look at us and look at our work and be able to find a little bit of representation in that. Commissioner Jacob Bonema does not want this invocation to happen. He posted on social media calling the move a publicity stunt. He also shared a statement with News 8 saying, I and other commissioners voted against Joe Moss's changes to the board rules. He added, the invocation is meant to be for the benefit of the commissioners. And now the lawyers are involved. An attorney for the Freedom From Religion Foundation, which is a national organization, sent commissioners a letter urging them to allow the invocation to move forward. Most people want their county commissioners to do the to act as a government, not get involved into these controversial religious disputes. And so we think the best way to resolve it is to drop the invocation or drop the prayer. Um, if they're not going to do that, there may be some prayers that some uh, you know on the board don't like, and that's okay. They're going to have to tolerate that. The legal counsel for Ottawa County seems to agree. A statement from the county's lawyers includes a quote from Evelyn Beatrice Hall, who wrote in her biography of Voltaire, I disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. The minister for the Satanic Temple says not to expect anything nefarious in the prayer tonight, but rather a call to act with empathy. To um, basically come together and make decisions that benefit all and to dispel superstition and supernatural ideas that might block us from making decisions that truly benefit the most people. Reverend Jared Kramer doesn't plan to drop his lawsuit. Instead, he says he wants an injunction or a settlement that says Ottawa County will keep that new policy in place. In studio, Teresa Weekly, News 8.